Uh, hello, I should have put it in the last video. I'll put the link to the previous video to this and some links to uh, Geek37's channel because he talks about the golden, the silver ratio, the mean, uh, as well as the bronze mean, which I should have really included all in the same video. Uh, but like once again, I want to do it with a compass and straight edge and use the, the vesica to create the bronze mean. And so there we see well, the vesica and how I got to the uh, gold, so the um, silver mean and the golden mean. And now I'll do the third of the bronze. And again with the vesica and start as always with a construction line. And it'll be a nice tie in here because of well the salamis stone, uh, the pyramids. I've done other videos on this two to three ratio. Uh, from the Vesica, we find this in so many ancient structures, it will actually go through to music as well. And that's uh, there's a nice tie in here with the bronze and the uh, musical uh, perfect fit, the two to, f two to three ratio, which connects to Pythagorean, um, Pythagorean theorem and so many others. And uh, the f well, again, the, we're using this the three, four, five. Uh, triangles also will emerge in, in here, but I won't do those for the moment. So we begin with the vesica and now the line down through there, so where they intersect. And this was the same basic construction I used earlier. And now on the compass, we, have, we haven't changed the setting. Mark that off there and mark it off at the bottom as well. And I'll also do that on the ends here, draw an arc, draw, draw a wider arc because we're going to use this to create a 2 to 3 uh, ratio uh, rectangle. Yep. And on the other side as well. Now I'm going to change the compass setting to the from the centre of the vesica to the outside and now from that point mark that off and mark it off here again on the other side and along the top as well okay so now we have a two to three rectangle and it's easy to say it's two to three because if we go back to the original compass setting one two, three wide, and well, one, two high, so two to three. And I'll use a marker to draw the rectangle, but if you want to get it, you know, super, super accurate, of course, you'll use a thin fine point. Yeah, that's what happens when you leave the, the lid off. the lid back on. Right, just to create this two to three rectangle. So I just was a bit rough with the line but just to illustrate the point rather than to create a super accurate drawing just to show. So, so now we have the rectangle which surrounds the vesica and it is two high and it's three wide and this two to three ratio the perfect fifth in music but you again you'll find it in the more several of the pyramids of old you'll find it in the Parthenon uh, in um, Karnak in France and the, all these ancient enigmatic sites uh, just out know, of pure coincidence have these same basic geometries which are so important in arithmetic, geometry, astronomy and music. So we have the perfect 50 music scales. But also now uh, Pythagorean theorem once again. So A squared plus B squared equals uh, C squared. And so if I draw on diagonal, I'll 
Now, how do we work out how long that line is? Well, this is two and that is three, so two squared. Oh, well, in camera, yep. Two squared plus three squared equals c squared. So that's four plus nine equals 13 or 13. Therefore, this is a square root of 13. And the bronze ratio is... Three plus the square root of 13 over 2. So earlier how with this construction like square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 is the golden ratio. Square root of 2 plus 1 is the silver ratio and there we have the bronze. So uh, probably should have, okay, you might have to slide this over, I should have well, arranged it better. Then this line out, I might uh, be a paper waste. Or might use a piece there because I might have to extend it over. We all in camera. Yep. So. Actually, I need to do that more with what it fit. That's so. Let me slide that down. I think I would have. If I planned this better, I would have spaced it better all on one piece of paper. But So extend that line. And now I set the compass to 3. And so the square root of 13. So that's the square root of 13. Square root of 13 plus 3. There we have 3. And the bronze ratio is 3 plus the square root of 13 over 2. So that's the bronze ratio times 2. And again, now we can. What was we set the. Compass over halfway, we can bisect the line. And therefore, this is the bronze ratio there. So again, some, some really basic stuff. So the Pythagorean theorem, bisecting a line and the vesica, we get these very important ratios because they're so important in nature, uh, in ancient architecture and, and legends and uh, music, astronomy, arithmetic and geometry. It's all actually, you know, it's very beautiful, it's very simple, and from this then we can go on further and extract so much uh, other information, but this is, to my thinking, why the um, ancient people, even in, into the more modern era, uh, pre-industrial revolution and, and the, uh, sort of, yeah, the, the, what's considered modern history is, uh, depends on who you ask where it begins, but, uh, but at least before pre-industrial times, Cathedral builders, temple builders, myths and legends always, uh, well, there it is, it's, it's yeah, beautiful math stuff and so again I'll put links in the description because uh, Geek37 uh, does a lot of stuff on, on this as well and again I, just, I think uh, it's this, my channel Sacred Geometry Decoded, I think we'll to decode it because What's called sacred geometry is really best considered in Euclidean geometry and these constructions and you know using using logic, using reason, uh, you know with using yeah, math, arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, um, music. Uh, this is why it's, these things is uh, lovely. So again, sacred is a term that turns people off. It's just the, the term that's in, unfortunately in recent years has begun to stick. 
but yeah, Euclidean geometry, music, if you're into astronomy, you're into music, you're into numbers, or you're into shapes, there's so much there incorporated, and if you think about this more as a holistic system rather than the way we're taught now, where we have these separate subjects which never blend into one another, and, and that's unfortunate, you know, which one I think is contributing to the dumbing down of society and why uh, if you simply say sacred, it you know becomes yeah, it's a different thing. It's like the, uh, sacred shouldn't necessarily mean theological religion uh, or the, you know, or as they say, you know. Okay, I won't get into the definition of gnosis. That's a thing that will, but knowledge, knowledge. It's you know, get, as my one of my favourite sayings. I heard a very wise old man told me when I was a young man, "Gather all the knowledge you can. It costs nothing and is no weight to bear."